Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RFC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out there, okay? If you guys are interested in those links, okay, they will be in the uh, description and in the comments. So I wanted to talk about this right here. Uh, as we know, we had some changes within the uh, Saitama team. And if we look right here, we kind of get a big picture of uh, kind of a lot of stuff I've been talking to you all about. And right here, Russ had a tweet after the, of course, after the uh, whole situation with Max. And it says, with growth comes expansion and manpower. It says, half the dev team is currently working alongside our tech team in India, mapping out and allocating resources to each component. It says, our 12-month roadmap uh, from now is extensive and complex. It says, nose to the grindstone. So, look, um, right now, Saitama has come a long way. They have come a very long way. We've had a lot of uh, uh, road bumps, okay, in the, in the road, a lot of uh, bumps and bruises, okay? Uh, we've lost some co community as well as gained some community, okay? There have been times where uh, we've seen this project uh, at an all-time low, and when I say all-time low, I'm not talking about and you know price action or the charts i'm talking about uh, an all-time low kind of like and uh you know confidence confidence for the community the community was uh down uh on this project uh really bad at one time and you know the the good thing now that i'm saying about the community is that uh they're showing signs of life and they're showing signs of trust in this project okay and you know another thing he talked about is expansion and manpower okay um right now saitama is uh is expanding okay now when they go into v2 that's going to open up more doors okay and they know that if, if they have more doors open they're going to have to expand they're going to have to step their game up in order for them to step their game up they're going to have uh you know they're going to have to change around things such as like you know what they're going into uh v2 with like the tokenomics and as far as uh also getting like a uh you know a uh what what is that as far as getting like a marketing wallet and all of that stuff okay because like i said they did a good job okay when they had like the 20 million and they were dishing it out to build within uh the projects but it's time for them now to step their game up that that could only have took them so far and i told you i like that a lot of individuals did not like that me myself okay i love that because it showed that they're able to fight without all of the conventional stuff that a lot of these other uh projects uh need to get going okay so we know that uh saitama is now strong enough to fight on uh either side of the field okay and also you know when when we're expanding like this and we we're having to step our game up and having to step step our uh technology up, we have new technology coming in you have to bring in the manpower okay and that's what they're doing they bring in uh you know a lot of uh multiple tech teams to help deal with this because this is going to be big this next year is going to be the rest of this year is going to be really big for say thomas not only this year but the next year and in, in 2023 uh also and okay and and, and and like he said also he mentioned that the dev team is working alongside now i like that also that the dev team is actually uh working with the techs out there because now the uh, developers on the team they can also learn and pick the brains of the technicians okay and hopefully they can uh, pick up some skills also to help carry this uh, project in the future if need be okay because like I said those texts are expensive you really want to have your own in-house text but at the same time you have to do uh, what you're supposed to do okay so um, I like this right here I like the mindset Okay, like you said, that the next 12 month roadmap is going to be big. Okay, it's going to be extensive and complex, which means look, extensive and complex. You have to be prepared to have okay, patience with this project. Okay, extensive and complex. Okay, this is going to be an ongoing uh building project right here. Okay, so um, like I said, you have to have uh patience. This is what I wish that uh the community would have had. You know a little bit after the say the mass which was that patient i wish they would have had that okay but the thing is this we we needed that we needed the criticism uh you know to uh get our bumps and bruises okay and a lot of those were stepping stones uh to go in the right direction as far as like uh 
the delays and all of that stuff. All of the criticism, you know, and negativity was stepping stones. There were stepping stones. Okay, so me myself always had patience because I got the big picture and knew what they wanted to do. All right, and I have a, I'm going to continue to have patience for uh, crypto and the V2 uh, version of Saitama also because, like I said, all right, it's going to be big and it's going to be uh, complex. All right, nothing they're building is, is conventional. You have to appreciate that. I really appreciate what uh, the Saitama team is doing uh, as far as going uh, unconventional. I like that. All right. Um, and like I said, also, do not be surprised. All right, I've been making my prediction videos. Do not be surprised if uh, somebody else is added to uh, develop the development team. Okay, and I'm I'm not just talking about the individuals uh, on the tech teams. Okay, because we already know they're coming in to help. I'm talking about. Don't be surprised if more individuals are added. Uh, for me, that would not be a red flag. It just means it's, it's just another replacement and probably somebody with uh another skill and who has value to add to this project because we're going to need that down the road so you have to be open to this stuff okay you have to be open to all of this stuff that's going on and stop looking at everything as red flags at least for the individuals that are following the critics out there that are saying all of this stuff is red flags it's not you know they're just uh the saitama team is just making moves that's what they're doing if we look at a lot of the other crypto projects out there, a lot is not doing what Saitama is doing, okay? Um, but Saitama is making moves. I like that. They're all business moves, okay? And um, yeah, this is my video, okay? So, um, you know, remember, every now is history tomorrow. And you either have patience in this uh, crypto investing space or lose in the end. This is my video, and I will catch you all on the up and up. Howdy.